Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 38 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to delete a metadata preset that you no longer are using, and I'm also going to show you how to delete a watermark that you might not be using any longer. Now, those of you that watch my videos might know that in episode 37, I demonstrated how to create a metadata preset, and I should have demonstrated in that video how you would delete it also, but I neglected to. And I received a couple emails from folks asking me, how do you delete one? Well, I'm going to show you now. Now, if you remember, we're in the library module and on the right hand panel, we have this tab metadata. We're going to open that and you can see we have presets right here. And this is in episode 37. I demonstrated how to create a preset. And in that episode, I created this preset import two. But I mentioned I already use this preset. I call it import preset. So I want to delete import two. How do we do that? Well, we go down here to edit presets. We'll click on that and this box pops up and it has that info down here. But we are not concerned with the info yet. We're going to go up to the top, this drop down that says custom, click on that and we're going to pick the preset that we want to delete. In this case, it's import two. Now you can see there's just two other choices uh, at the very bottom, restore default presets, save current settings as a new preset. Then we have the preset I'm keeping and the preset I want to get rid of. I want to get rid of import two, so I'm going to select that. Now when I go back to that drop down again, magically we have another choice down here at the bottom, delete preset import two. So I want to take that and it's asking me, am I sure I want to delete it? And I'm going to say yes. So I'm deleting it. And it's really deleted now. If we go to the drop down, it's gone. Now we're going to click done. So be careful here now. When I click done, a box is going to pop up and ask me if I want to save this changes down here as a new preset. You're going to click don't save. All right. And then if you look over here at our metadata preset drop down, you can see import to is now gone. We did delete it. Now you do this in a similar way with uh, watermarks. Now I have a Mac. If I go up to Lightroom, there's edit watermarks. If you have a PC, it is under edit. So go to edit and then you're going to look for edit watermarks. So we're going to click on that and this box pops up. Now in the top left hand corner, we have a drop down. We're going to click on that and I want to get rid of this CEP watermark. So I'm going to click on it. And there's my Creative Edge Photography, which I no longer own that business. But I want to get rid of the watermark. So I go back to this drop down after I loaded it. And there it is. Delete preset CEP watermark. Click delete. And it is gone. Now I could save it again, but I'm not going to. So we're going to just click cancel because I don't want this to be on the image. So we're going to click cancel. Now when you look at it again, I'll go back up to edit watermarks and we go to our drop down. You can see it's not there. So I got rid of that watermark. So that's it. That's how you would delete any metadata presets you're no longer using and delete any watermarks you're no longer using. All right, that's it. I'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos. Thank you very much. If you guys could do me a favor, please go to my website at the very top. There's a link that says, I need your help. Please support what I'm trying to do with these free videos. I have a lot of plans to really expand the videos. Um, and I'm really excited about it. So if you could click on that link and help me out, there's ways you could help me that won't cost you a penny. All right. Thank you very much.